the general consensus uh, for these dating shows, they always paint the guy as the bad guy, right? There were countless articles. I think there was even a video uh, about SK. Why the SK and Raven thing didn't end up working. <clears throat> SK is a cheater, this and that and the third. Well, uh, today, today, Devin sent me this article. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Love is Blind Season 3 star, uh, Sek uh, Sekiru, Sekiru Alag Alagbara, we'll call him SK, is breaking his silence following the cheating scandal that led to his November 2022 split with co-star Raven Ross. Actually sounds like an adult film star name, if we're all being honest. Raven Ross. And I've only known, how many Ravens have I? I think I've known two or three Ravens. Started uh, Love is Blind uh, Season I've only known like two or three Ravens in my lifetime, and they were all hoes. They were all 304s, no exceptions. No exceptions. No exceptions. And uh, this uh, appears to be, uh, this appears to be no different. Now, before, before I read the article, I'm going to play you guys. I'm going to play you guys a snippet. You're not going to be able to hear it. You're, or I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to see it. Obviously, because you know we want to stay, we want to stay within uh, YouTube's uh, copyright laws and whatnot. But um, I'm going to play you a clip from my daily breakdown from Love Is Blind season three. This was, I think, episode number four or five that I had done. Season three, episode maybe four or five. Not on the season, but my breakdowns. And this was early on. So in this particular soundbite that I'm about to play, Raven is talking to Bartiz. And the, the day before, she had revealed to Bartiz that her job involved the sex industry. Raven revealed to, Raven revealed to uh, uh, Bartiz that she was a bottle girl. She revealed to Bartiz that she was a bottle girl Bartiz appeared to be okay with it. Then she dropped this bomb on him. Take a uh, uh, take a listen. Are always single, especially sex workers, bottle girls. They will, dude. They will if <laughs> if you come at these girls with the right game, they will give up the butt. Please believe. And I think that Raven has definitely given up the butt. And that's exactly why she's trying to tie this down because when. Bartiz has a problem with her with her job, and he will. She can go right back to what I talked about with the tie down take. Well, well, wait a minute. In the pods, you told me that you'd be okay with my job. You told me that my last boyfriend was controlling and possessing, and that you weren't going to be like that. And then she's got him by the balls. Let's listen. But he was like an older guy and successful. If that like tells you where I'm going with this, he has a sugar daddy. He's a sugar daddy. Holy shit. The guy was older and successful, and she was a bottle girl. She was in a relationship with a sugar daddy. Dude, this just keeps getting worse and worse. And look at Bartise. Bartise is like, dude, at this point, Bartise, man, ay ay ay. I wouldn't commit to either one of these. I wouldn't commit to either one of these hoes, man. I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> see, I have no clue. You see this? You see this? Bartise is twenty-five. Bartise is twenty-five. Raven is 20 sec, 20, 20, 27, right? Listen, see how she explains this? And then he says, I got no clue. He has no, what, watch, watch, watch. About getting engaged and stuff like, it was, you know, for real. Mm -hmm. But he was like an older guy and successful. If that like tells you where I'm going with this. See? I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> and that's the problem. And that's the problem. That's the problem, guys. He has no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> That's the problem. This is why you need experience with women. This guy, Bartiz, is about to get finessed by a woman who is a professional finesser. She was a sugar baby, number one. <laughs> number two, she's a sex worker. Like, dude. Like, that's it. It's o Like, dude, it's over. It is over. Girls like Raven are for recreational use only. Every episode, we find out more and more about her that disqualifies her for any relationship of any kind with any man of with with any man of value. Bartiz is a good-looking, in-shape twenty-five-year-old who has no clue as to what he's up against. 
<laughs> well, I'll just say like in our relationship, we had a great life. Yep. And, Sugar baby. Um, yep. Like I still have some of the things from mm. that relationship. Oh boy. Mm. Oh boy. Like, I don't. That wouldn't be weird for you. No, I don't think so. Oh my. My God, I still have some of the things from that relationship. This bitch has a fucking car. This bitch, dude, I, oh my God, this bitch probably still has a car that he bought for her. He's probably still making, pay this dude is probably still making payments on the car for her. This dude is, this, this is, oh my God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Dude, this bitch was a sugar baby. This bitch was a sugar baby. She says, and I still have things from the relationship. She probably has jewelry, electronics, gadgets, cars. Dude, her the, the place she lives in is probably paid for by him. Oh my god. Okay. Depending on what the thing is. Yeah. It's yeah, a fucking. Yeah. I mean, be, like it's a house. I don't know. Maybe I'd be like, huh. A house. Yeah. Like another man that loved her bought it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at Raven's face. Raven is like, well, wait a minute. Now Raven is trying to think about how to get out of this linguistically. Right? He's trying to think. She, she, she's trying to think about this. Right? He said a house. Now she can deny and be like, no, no, no. He didn't buy me a house. That doesn't mean that she's not renting her a condo. Right? Like, I, and again, I, we, this is the first time we're all seeing this. Just watch. I don't know. Because that's something that you might see as a reminder of him okay but it's not a house <laughs> okay i'd be like i don't want to live in a i don't i don't know i feel weird. i kind of think i might feel weird about that but that's probably like the only thing yeah what about the car what about the phone right jay blaze just nailed it the sugar daddy can fuck her anytime that dude this is what i'm getting at this is what i'm getting at this sugar daddy she still has things she still has things that were from that last relationship. I promise you one of them's definitely a car. It's dude, one of them's definitely a car. Because if it weren't a car, then why even bring it up? No. I think he rents her an apartment or bought her a condo and he got her a car. Oh my god. And guess what? If she doesn't fuck this dude, he's taking whatever it is he gave to her. He's taking that away. Just like Jay Blaze says, he can fuck her anytime. That's what this is. Dude, 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 dude. Well, how do you feel on the other side of this? This is bad. They dated an older man, and we've established that I'm younger than you. I am not going to be... Yeah. Like, buying you fucking Rolex watches or like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that also, that's not saying I'm broke. You know, I have a no. fucking career. But I was just saying like, hey, like, that ain't me. Not yet, at least. So. No, I do not expect that. He's, like clearly I go and oh my God. like make my own money and do that for myself. And if I was just someone who wanted someone to pay for me or whatever, like then she could do that. I probably wouldn't be here. Yeah. So yeah, that's not an issue. Probably wouldn't be here. So this girl is used to the finer things in life. This girl is used to the finer things in life. And here she is getting with this 25 year old kid guys. She's looking for the alpha fucks to her beta bucks. She clearly doesn't respect her sugar daddy. She clearly does not does not respect her 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 sugar daddy. But that's why she's on Love is Blind. Jesus. Okay, good. I've never talked about any of this stuff with like anyone and that's probably my problem. Definitely life changing in many ways. Yeah. I have a crazy story. I don't know if I told you when my mom met my dad, she was engaged to another man. Oh my God, when my mom met my dad, she was engaged. Okay, and so, and so that brings us, that brings us to today's article. That brings us to today's article. In an interview with People, SK addressed the red flags in his relationship as well as the cheating scandal in which several women claimed he had relationships with them while he was dating and engaged to Raven. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I do want to deeply express my sincere apology to Raven for the hurt and embarrassment I caused her, SK said. I'm not proud of how I conducted myself. I conducted myself in a way that's making me take a step back and reflect. Stop the cap. No, you're not, but it's okay. It's caught our... Oh, yep, that, there's SK and the lovely... And sumptuous Raven. 
SK insisted that his decision to speak out about the scandal wasn't his attempt at a, quote, apology tour. Instead, it was about taking accountability. While the Love is Blind star denied physically cheating on Raven, he admitted to having a, quote, an inappropriate conversation with another woman. However, SK claimed he wasn't the only one who made mistakes during their relationship. SK revealed that Raven was in contact with a successful older gentleman who she previously spoke about during season three of the Netflix series. Let's play that little snippet again, just in case you are just, for those of you who are just tuning in, this is, oh my God. Wow. 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 <laughs> well, I'll just say like in our relationship, we had a great life. Yep. And, Sugar baby. Um, yep. Like I still have some of the things from that relationship. Oh boy. Mm. Oh boy. Like, I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Listen, f girls. They will, dude, they will, if, <laughs> if you come at these girls with the right game, they will give up the butt. Please believe. And I think that Raven has definitely given up the butt. And that's exactly why she's trying to tie this down. Because when Bartiz has a problem with her with her job, and he will, she can go right back to what I talked about with he the tie down take. Well, well, wait a minute. In the pods, you told me that you'd be okay with my job. You told me that my last boyfriend was controlling and possessing that you weren't going to be like that. And then she's got him by the balls. Let's listen. Mm -hmm. But he was like an older guy and successful. If that like tells you where I'm going with this. Yeah, he's a sugar daddy. He's a sugar daddy. Holy shit. The guy was older and successful. And she was a bottle girl. She was in a relationship with a sugar daddy. Dude, this just keeps getting worse and worse. And look at Bartiz. Bartiz is like, dude, at this point, Bartiz, man, ay ay ay. I wouldn't commit to either one of these. I wouldn't commit to either one of these hoes, man. I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> see, I have no clue. You see this? You see this? Bartiz is 25. Bartiz is 25. Raven is 20, 20, 27. Right? Listen, see how she explains this? And then he says, I got no clue. He has no, watch, watch, watch. About getting engaged and stuff like it was, you know, for real. Mm -hmm. But he was like an older guy and successful. If that like tells you where I'm going with this. See? I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> and that's the problem. Mm -mm. And that's the problem. That's the problem, guys. He has no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> <clears throat> After we started dating again, he continues, I discovered that she had, in fact, continued to be in communication with this older guy, both while we were filming and while we were together dating SK said, when the couple began dating again following their failed trip at the altar, SK claimed they took five trips. During at least two different occasions, he, quote, personally witnessed incidents of communication between her and this older guy, whether him still blowing up her phone, trying to call or FaceTime her, or even a text message that talked about the possibility of them having kids together. You can't make this shit up, guys. SK alleged the communication with the older man continued after Raven and SK were committed in an exclusive relationship. Raven later told the outlet that SK's allegations were completely untrue. Stop the cap. <laughs> we just listened to her. We just listened to her. Um, we just listened to this girl talk about this older successful gentleman. And now... Now she's in a relationship with him. Guys. Okay. All right. The Netflix star went on to suggest that he never noticed other red flags, that he noticed other red flags about Raven during their relationship, but didn't address them. SK claimed they took a quote, pivotal trip to new Orleans in May of 22 to meet Raven's mother. While there, he realized that quote, their priorities were not aligned. Yeah, no shit. We called that a long time ago when Raven had introduced SK to her friends and she told them, look, I'm not the bitch that's going to be coming home and making you food. She told them straight up, I'm not the Stepford wife. I'm not here for the traditional stuff. She said that. She said this to him. 
but it took a trip to New Orleans for him to realize that their priorities were not aligned. Toward the end of the trip, the article continues, SK and Raven had a serious conversation about their short-term goals that changed SK's confidence in their future together. In that conversation, he says, most of what I got out of it was, I'm not ready to settle down now. I'm not ready to start a family, move, the sub move to the suburbs, whatever normal married people do or people who want to settle down, SK recalled. The conversation was more around, quote, oh, I really just want to build my brand. I just want to work on my business. I was stunned and I was like, what about us? Where do we fall in this whole short-term picture? Against his better judgment, SK continued his relationship with Raven, even though he was ready to settle down and expand their family. In retrospect, he says, I wish I'd ended things at that time. Well, of course. Dude, Raven's hot, <laughs> y'all. Raven's hot. That's why he didn't end the relationship. At the same time, I blame no one but myself. The reality is I felt like Raven and I were focused on two different things. Despite his reservations, SK proposed to Raven once again, but the cheating scandal quickly ended their relationship. Although SK finds it, quote, very interesting that his ex moved on to a man, a new man shortly after their breakup, SK has, quote, nothing but well wishes for Raven. Guys, <laughs> This is why we do what we do. This is why we do what we do, y'all. This is why we do what we do. There are there are many people. I'll put it to you this way: there 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 are people in our world who you can tell they just consume way too much internet. They just consume too much internet. They know what every meme is. They know what every story is. Blah 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 blah. But the one thing. The one thing that gives away a person in terms of them consuming too much internet is they don't believe anything they hear. They don't believe anything they see, read, or hear. Now, now, we all know that being gullible certainly can be dangerous. Being gullible, for those of you just tuning in, being gullible is believing everything you hear. It's very, very, it's very dangerous to believe everything you see and hear. You have to look, you have to scrutinize everything you see and hear under a very watchful eye. I think the famous saying is uh, uh, believe half of believe half of what you see, none of what you hear, something like that. I don't know. You guys can correct me on that. Right? <clears throat> you guys can uh, check me. You guys can correct me on that if, if, uh, if I'm wrong. But one thing that a lot of men in this community tend to think is that, well, these dating shows are all scripted. If these dating shows are all scripted, then why in the hell am I able to predict what is going to happen with such shocking accuracy? If the things, you can't have it both ways, guys. You can't have it both ways. You can't say, well, the red pill, the manosphere community has no idea what they're talking about, but then by the same token say, well, these dating shows are scripted. No, they're not. I'm sure that there are elements of dating shows that are encouraged by the producers to look a certain way. But no amount of lights, camera, and or action is going to trump is going to trump your biology. It's just not going to. Raven was a sugar baby. We called dude, I called that from the start. I said she's a sugar baby, never gonna work out. We never heard about it again, and now here we are. Now, here we are. An older, more successful gentleman, the very same man she described to Bartiz, the very same man she described to Bartiz when they were courting. Bartiz did the right thing and decided, hell no. He decided, hell no. This bitch is a sugar baby. She still got stuff from her sugar daddy. You guys heard, you guys heard. That she still has things from her sugar daddy. I'm sure she probably has a car, phone, an apartment, et cetera, et cetera. So as soon as things didn't work out with SK, she jumped back to the sugar baby. She jumped back to the or she jumped back to the sugar daddy. This does not surprise me at all, guys. We called this from the start, from the very start, and now it's coming to fruition. And if you guys want to see me break down this kind of stuff live and in living color, weekday afternoons at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, migraine headaches, notwithstanding, 